Hello everybody and welcome to another biology video. Today I'm going to be talking about monotremes. Monotremes are very strange animals. In fact, I would call them the strangest animals in the world. The reason for this is because they lay eggs, but that's not strange. The strange part is that they're mammals. The reason that we know that they are mammals is because they follow the same rules as mammals. Be warm-blooded, feed their children with milk, and have fur. All monotremes don't have nipples, which means that the baby has to lick the milk from their skin just like this. <laughs> what do you expect? <laughs> there are only two types of monotremes which survive millions of years of evolution. Echidna and platypus. A platypus looks like it is made up of three animals. A duck's bill, an otter's body, and a beaver's tail, but with fur. The first time that scientists saw the skin of a platypus, they thought it was just a prank. But then, when they started to look into the skin, they found out that there were no stitches and no one sew it up. Platypus have the ability to sense electrical impulses from other animals' muscles, similar like sharks do. They even move their head side to side, similar like sharks do. They use this technique to find their prey, small shrimps, insects, and small fish. Platypus are some of the few mammals which are venomous. We know that spiders and snakes are venomous, but platypus are also venomous. Only male platypus are venomous, and they have a little venomous spur on their webbed little feet, which they use to fight for females. This venom could be very dangerous for humans. I would recommend not to go near a platypus when you see one and approach with caution. Fortunately, a kidney is not venomous like platypus, but it is as strange as platypus. Biologists thought that this was a mix of porcupine and anteater because it eats ants and termites and it uses its spines for self-defense. But later they discovered that it lays eggs and it was the same family as platypus. To find its prey, it uses hearing and the same ability as platypus. Echidnas have very bad eyesight. If you stay very quiet, you can get pretty close to this animal. Although, when they feel threatened, they will roll up into a ball, like hedgehogs do, and use its spines as protection. Echidnas and platypus are fantastic, beautiful animals, and I hope that they won't vanish from this planet. <laughs>